All right, uh, BFCC, I saw your press release, so let me respond to you people now. I'll say again that I'm very worried, always very worried about VDM, but what he's doing has to be done by someone. Otherwise, we'll continue the way we've been until the whole country perishes. I want to remind you again that you should pray for VDM every day. I hope you prayed for him this morning. If you haven't prayed for him today, I want you to do that. Remember, we should pray for VDM every day. When you pray for yourself in the morning, pray for VDM or place him in prayers. If you want him to be good with you and your descendants and your lineage, pray for him. Before you go to sleep, pray for him. Remind, remember him in your prayers all the time. All these years, it was the reign of Touch Not My Anointed, where even though people who masqueraded as pastors were raping women and stealing from the masses to the knowledge, to the very knowledge of the public, many didn't speak due to touch not my anointed. Even when we spoke, those of us who did were not supported. So you see, evil thrives when good people keep quiet. And that has been the case with our country all these years. Right now, even at this very moment, the rate of swindling people out of their money is being checked just by VDM's actions alone. People are returning money to people whose cries they would otherwise have ignored. I just can't understand why there will be anybody who, unless they're also criminal-minded, will not be a VDM supporter. Except people who prefer to live with stupidity and preserve their safety while they suffer in stupidity. I understand VDM's thinking. You get to a point where you, you're like, rather than have this life and continue to live it this way, I will stand for what I would rather live. And if I'm not going to have that, then the life is not, it's not, it's just not worth it having it that way. That is what is going on here. So if you believe in good, I want you to remember to always pray for VDM. I want to remind you again that today you should pray for him. Pray that it may be well with you and your descendants. Pray for VDM that it may be well with you and your descendants. Now I'll play today's update for you. All right, uh, BFCC, I saw your press release. So let me respond to you people now. So, uh, press statement. Executive Chairman of the Economy and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, Mr. Ola Olukoyede, has ordered immediate investigation of alleged bribery allegation imputed to some officers of the commission by Idris Okunaye, aka Bobriski, in a viral video circulating across the country. Okunaye and ex-convict had alleged in the video powered by Martins Vincent Ote, aka Very Dark Man, that some unnamed officers of the EFCC collected the sum of 15 million naira only from him to draw only for from him to drop the money laundry charges against him. In a swift reaction, the EFCC boss have constituted a team of investigators to critically look into the allegations to the end. The commission hereby invites Okuneye and Ote to make themselves available in Lagos Directorate to assist the investigations investigators on earth the alleged bribery. Number one. Okay, so first things first. In everything this press release is saying, the press release did not even say the one that is within their own range. What do I mean by within their own range? Why didn't they say something like, the EFCC is 100% certain that Bobriski was in the prison? I mean, because EFCC has the power to know that. You understand? Uh, Bobriski is their suspect that they put in prison. Do you understand? It is their duty to be certain, to be sure that Bobriski, they, they were supposed to be going there to check that he's there. Do you understand? So if the person that released this statement could not confirm that Bobriski was in prison, then it's a problem. I don't know if people are getting my point. Secondly, before you invite somebody like me to come, you have to invite and make sure you do a deep investigation on your own officers first. Then when you don't get the results that you desire from your own officers, when I mean your own officers, I mean those officers that handled Bobriski's file. Do you understand? The officers that handled Bobriski's file, you need to bring all of them together, all the ones that handled this file. Do you understand? The one that was investigating him is IPO, everybody. Make sure you bring them together, investigate them thoroughly, check their accounts, check everything they were up to. When you are done with them, that's why you can say, okay, the FCC wishes to invite Mr. Martins Vincent Hotel, a.k.a. Very Dark Black Man. Do you understand? 
Now, you are telling me to come to Lagos and the headquarters of EFCC is in Abuja. It makes no sense. Rather, I would rather say you should tell Bob Brisky to come to Abuja and you will investigate. Do you understand? Uh -huh. And lastly, the reason why I will not go to Lagos is this. Me, I don't have 15 million naira to pay for anything. Do you understand? And I don't have any godfather anywhere. Me, they don't carry me go for prison. I don't have any godfather anywhere. If all are me for prison. And I don't have 15 million naira just in case you don't put something against me. Because now I can't trust you people now. I can't trust you. You can't decide to set me up. You can't decide to set me up. I don't trust you people, yeah? So, I don't think I want to go to Lagos. So, this is the headquarter here. Bring it here. Let them investigate it here. I am not coming. I don't trust you people. I will not go. Anything you want, first investigate your people. Do you understand? After that, you can talk to me. But coming to Lagos, that one is out of it. Do you understand? I know they go. And even if I decide, say I won't go. Let's just assume, say I decide. You go book me ticket. So, you heard him. He's not honoring that invitation. What do you think about that? I have to agree with him. You see, VDM only released that video with the conversation. Let's just, let's go through this. Let's go through this together. VDM only released that conversation. VDM only released that video with that conversation yesterday, September 24th. And within a couple of hours after the release, the EFCC chairman issues that statement on the EFCC account, wherein VDM was invited. Now, the facts are these. According to what I observe, the swift response by the EFCC chairman is admirable, yes. This is probably because he has nothing to do with the mess and wants it known immediately, because we all know how it is in Nigeria. People will sweep things under the carpet as if nothing has happened when things go wrong. But in this case, the EFCC chairman clearly does not want to be perceived as such. You see, if Nigeria were to be running this way, we, 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 we would have a much better country. Secondly, that response was so swift that there is just no way. There is just no way that it was due. Because the way things are done is, in cases where a process has been alleged to have been hijacked, the office or the company involved would always conduct an internal investigation following which outsiders or anybody else, any third parties, can then be called in to follow up on the in-house findings if need be. This clearly could not have been the case here as the statement was released barely a couple of hours after that video was put out by VDM. And thirdly, the truth is that legally he really doesn't have to honor that invitation if he has good reasons. And then fourthly, Think about this. The EFCC headquarters is in Abuja. VDM is in Abuja. Why is he being invited to Lagos? Bobriski is in Lagos. Bobriski is the one who was heard making that statement. Why is Bobriski not being invited to Abuja instead? Bobriski, we all know that he has got fathers because the way he goes about life, there's no way that he'd be doing these things that are not legal, that are against the constitution of the, of, uh, the country without having big, powerful people backing him. And so if he has got fathers, it appears that things are happening in the background. Because why is it VDM who we know, we don't know to have got fathers, that is being invited? It just sounds funny and fishy to me. I would also think it's very risky for him to be going to Lagos. Why is this not happening in Abuja? And even if it was to happen in Abuja, seriously, the in-house investigation was not conducted at all because it wouldn't have been done in two hours. It will take a while. Then we will know, okay, they've done some investigations and now they're calling on VDM or Bobiski. And anyway, 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 anyway at all, what really is VDM going to do? What is it going to be saying? What is it going to say to assist the investigation? In the first place, it will be to investigate it in-house calling Bob Risky, who is able to tell them, yes, no, this happened, this did not happen. And then after that, if necessary, if need be, VDM, of course, I'm not speaking with authority on that particular point, you know, but this is the way that it, it just makes common sense. And again, you know, finally, it will be only a bully that will get upset if VDM doesn't honor this inv invitation. Only a bully, not anyone who is sincerely interested in, in finding out the truth, right? 
Because the person who sincerely wants to do the job and get to the bottom of the truth here will start by identifying the officers involved on that file on this case of Bob Risky and the money laundering issue and him going to prison. That person will want to investigate all that first internally. And they may not even need to call on VDM. Everything may end with the officers involved and Bob Risky. But if the ESCC chairman decides to huff and puff and blow angry and uh, get upset that William is not, is not honoring this investigation, then it begins to detract from the whole from the whole idea. It begins to distract from finding out the truth. And I, I want to believe that with the swift action that he he took, this is a man who wants to keep his name clear of mud. And so let's hope that things play out positively. Perhaps we'll begin to see some light at the end of the tunnel for the country, Nigeria. VDM is working almost like a government agent now, helping the system, helping the country, helping the government in doing things that they ordinarily should have been doing for the citizens. So this is why we should heavily support VDM in spirit, in spirit, at least if nothing else. What do you think?